We are working to be stable. We are working for power. We are working for security. And as we are working, there are many factors and secrets that one needs to know to get to a place where their money can work for them. It is important for you to get that to that stage where you really see how you are working out your money and how your money is working out for you. It is very much important because without that, you realize that every month, every year, after every paycheck, you will get to have money in your hands, but you won't see anything tangible that you are doing with the money that is coming into your hands. And this is why we are going to have a conversation and I'm going to be speaking to you on certain things that I believe that if you can do them right, your money can work for you well. All right. So we will be talking today on, on how to make your money to work for you. All right. We'll be talking today on how. All right. How to make your money. All right. Work. So you need to know how to make your money work. A lot of people, you'd realize that when you look at a lot of people, they they, they, they really work in very good jobs, but they haven't understood or grasped the concept of how can they make their money to work for them. And most of the times, this is the reason why you see many things seeming as if they are not working out. The first thing that you have to understand is don't spend it until you get it. Don't spend it until you get it. All right. Don't spend it until you get it. All right. Don't spend it until you get it. Why am I speaking this point? You'd realize that many people, as they are doing their jobs, as they are working, one of the things that affects them is the aspect of them coming to a place whereby they spend money that they do not have. Sometimes you'd realize that there are many factors that can lead people to that point where they spend monies that they do not have. And some they are in debt, some they, 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 they have bought things they should not have bought. And we, as we go along this issue, you would realize that this is the reason why many people are in debt. Yes, you might have been promised. Yes, you understand maybe that your business brings you certain amount of money per month or certain amount uh, of, of money per, per, per annum. But that does not give you the right to spend money recklessly. You cannot spend money until you get that money. It is when it is in your hands that you can spend it. It's not about the life that you want to live, the life you're fantasizing. It has to be about the reality. Don't spend the money you do not have. And it, it might be that you are doing competition with somebody. It might be that there is something that you want to articulate, but never spend money that you do not have. All right. Never spend money that you do not have. Don't start buying expensive, expensive belts looking expensive, and yet you are not expensive. Don't start looking expensive and you are not expensive yourself. The second thing is there is a principle that a lot of people are affected with because you understand that as we live, as much as we live in this, in this world we live in, tax has got to be paid. And that is what affects a lot of people. Many people's properties have been attached because they failed to pay their taxes. You have to understand there is, there is a principle that I want you to understand when your money comes so that you can divide and understand how to work out with your money well, all right? You can understand how to work out with your money well. When your money comes, all right, you'd realize that you, you, you get your money as 100%. This might be your revenue, all right? This might be your revenue. And in as much as it is your revenue, you have to find a way in which you divide yourself in the vicinity of your revenue. You have to find a way that you divide yourself in the vicinity of your revenue. How do you divide yourself? The first thing that you have to understand is you have to make sure that you, you have excess 
taxes that you have paid so that by the time when things are tough it is easier for you to get around it or not to be you know to be suffocated by the pressure that you might be going through in your business or maybe in your financial life so this is how you are going to divide your monies all right you are going to pay tax 40 percent all right you are going to pay tax 40 percent when you pay tax 40 percent the next thing that you have to do you have to look at yourself all right when you look at yourself if you are doing a business reinvest into that business reinvest into that business 40 percent reinvest into that business 40 percent and when you look at the calculations you'd realize that there would th there is a 20 percent amount that is left and that 20 percent that must be your life all right that must be your expenses so <laughs> the expenses of your life might must be oh look at that must be 20 percent the expenses of your life must reach and at least you must be able to deal with yourself around the budget of 20%. And if it is too much that you are having a lot of things to deal with, you can reduce that you are making money does not mean that you have to show off that you are making it. All right. The goal is for you to be or not to try to be or not for people to see you as if you are. The goal is for you to reach a place where you are. All right. So. As, as you go around this, you would understand that many people, they get to be in debt. Many people get to live a life that is beyond them. When you bring in your 40%, you give it to the, te to, to, you know, to the revenue authority. It will be easier for you to flow. Most of the times you understand that when there is excess, they will pay you back. But at least you are on the safe side at least you are on the safe side rather than spending and buying properties and at the end when they come for you they take everything that that you have all right so the third principle that i want to speak to you is that never buy something that you can't buy you, you you know you can't write off if you cannot write it off don't buy it all right if you cannot write it off don't buy it all right if you cannot, if you can't write it off, you know, don't buy it. If you can't write it off, don't buy it. M many people you'd realize that they are, they have come to be slaves to loans. And th th their life, the reason why it seems as if there is no direction to what they are doing is because they, they've put themselves in that place, you know. They've put themselves in that place where by consistently getting these loans and taking these loans, they, 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 they no longer even see the profit that they are making. You buy a very big house and you can't, you know, write it off with your whatever. It might be with your salary. It might be with your income. That same it, it, it won't give you profit because it's gonna be taken. How many people have you seen having properties that were repossessed because they bought something that they had no capacity to write off? So if you cannot come to a place where you can write it off, don't buy it. Don't buy it. All right. If you cannot write it off, don't buy it. Now I'm gonna speak maybe the last one for today. You have to understand that you know. Be consistent. Be consistent. Many people are not consistent when it when it comes to when it comes to 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 business. All right. Many people are not consistent when it comes to business, and you realize that this is the very reason why many people have come to a place where they they they, they never ran successful businesses. They were never consistent. So what begins to happen is they start a business. And before they even establish the idea of the business they are doing, already they are doing other three businesses, four businesses, seven businesses. And they, it brings you to a place whereby because you are not stable, because you are not consistent, you won't see anything tangible that you are doing. You are not stable. You are not consistent.
But if you can come to that place where you become consistent, you become stable, and 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 you establish one stream of income before you spread yourself too thin, you become a principality. What makes people to reference you to say, go and do business with this person is the longevity you have been in that business. How you have settled yourself in that business whereby everybody knows you. You are trusted by your consistency. People will trust you by your level of consistency and how long you would have pushed whatever you would have pushed. If you have learned and I believe that you have learned, just take a glass of water and sip because... You are about to get to a place where your money is about to work for you. All right. So let me see you in our next topic.